I feel like the resistance for me healing my subconscious was a really big part of that journey. Like when I first moved to Arizona, I went back into my subconscious healing. I was so deep in it for like two years before moving here. I was just like on a freaking journey of dissolving these perceptions and it benefited me immensely, which is why it's such an important part of like my methodology of teaching. But lately I've been feeling so free because I think I took the time to really address mm. the resistance prior to jumping into the journey. Yeah. And now I know exactly what to do when it's coming up. Because for me personally, my resistance was rooted in believing that my art wasn't worthy enough to be seen or it wasn't good enough or it wouldn't have enough impact. And healing my subconscious allowed me to see that like, first of all, what even is like being enough? That was like such a belief that I had mm. and working with just like that belief in totality and seeing it just at face value of like we we say this all the time like I'm not enough like I don't mm. think I'm good enough like enough of what like right. literally enough of what yeah and I just went into this whole realization of like I think I'm like enough and like <laughs> my my words are worthy and I'm actually a really powerful freaking channel as we all are and my art deserves to be seen and heard and I know it has such potential for impact on this collective and having that subconscious healing journey and dissolving that perception allowed me to really own my gifts and to say like this is my gift like I have an ability to say something that allows people to have a really big perspective change and I it's mm. a disservice if I do not put this out there yeah. And it's not really even about me. It's about me transmuting these words in a way that allows people to have that like, holy fuck, aha moment type of yes. thing. So yes. I think the resistance, you can go into it further to really like alleviate it. But then you also have to know your tendencies when you're actually in the creative process and you're in that flow. I feel the tendencies. Like I'll be sitting at my computer and I get this like ping in my body of like, pick up your phone. Like, you can go scroll for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Like it, it's 240, it's 241. Okay, scroll till 250. Like just pick up your phone. And I feel yeah. that. And now that I'm aware of those tendencies, like how you were saying, the resistance can show up as just you putting something in between you and the process. Yeah. With that awareness and with the embodiment journey that I'm on, like I have now become the person that can feel that urge and then not pick up the phone. Mm. Like I'm just not that person anymore. And wow. when you tell yourself that and you know your tendencies and you're able to like be conscious enough and you're, you're at that point of like self-awareness of noticing and not just like being victim to the automatic behaviors, then you can deal with the resistance within the process in a much more powerful way. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's basically, you know, where it is truly coming from so you can yeah. get to the root and then because of that you're like taking the you know the weed out of where it's coming from so it doesn't flower the same <laughs> how do you deal with that resistance yeah i mean i i think it's it's been similar there's been times where by just quote unquote pushing past the resistance it like healed the root that was causing the resistance yeah. Yeah. but then also sometimes by doing like the deeper healing work of you know, like this whole th journey I just went on with hypnotherapy, like that was hugely connected to my creativity. Almost in a way, I didn't even, I almost didn't realize what it was going to cause and how much resistance it was going to remove. So that was an instance where I needed to go deep and within, and I needed to understand what belief systems and feelings and perspectives I was having on myself that were then being projected out onto my reality. And that were also affecting how I showed up. Like on the dance floor, on the podcast, or as myself, or whatever. And so doing that healing work let me to then tap into my gifts. And then there's been other times when I think just when resistance comes up and just giving it kind of like the F you and being like, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to go do like the creative thing I would like to do. That in and of itself is also healing because it just, it contributes, I think, to rewiring the way that you are relating to yourself and those voices. And so you're starting to train yourself to listen to 
the intuitive soul creative voice versus like the ego resistance mm. voice and that in and of itself i think is very very healing so i think yeah i guess it's it's been both and i definitely think for me something that has just been relevant on my personal path is been doing a lot of the um yeah just being like a someone who has a very has a, an action bias like if i have the idea just start doing it and start putting it together and that has created like a tendency to not let resistance get in the way and then i think it becomes more obvious when there is something else that is deeper that needs to be addressed wait okay so i believe everyone has their own powerful way of healing subcom subconscious perceptions and there's not one way to do it and yeah. like what you're describing is literally the creative process using the creative process as subconscious healing right yeah and that is so freaking powerful because if someone's heart lies within that journey of being a creative that's going to be an avenue for them to heal those perceptions so totally. that's just so, so freaking powerful yeah well it's even like you can even just think about it that the let's call it like the action bias root would show you the things that are going to come up like when you are creative it's a mirror for all of your insecurities and your fears and your doubts and the things that you think you're not good at or when you, you think you look funny or you suck at it like all of that comes up by just being creative so it's like you almost get the data faster of what is going on that you would like to heal effectively or to like go deeper into the healing work by facing yourself in the mirror because that is what happens when you create i think that is what makes it so healing is that it both is showing you what you have within you and then also giving you a direct avenue for healing it at the same time like the what's that saying it's like the there's some saying about give, give me the, a word um, so i can help you i know i know i know sorry <laughs> it's um it's something that has something to do with like the poison is the medicine or like the cure is the uh, something fuck um, i can't remember there's the some saying to something i don't know it's something like it's along the lines of that chris williamson quote that's like the magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding like it's oh, yeah, like that. yeah yeah no it's not that one but it's something like that <laughs> <laughs>